How you doing today? We're going to do some Pipe Trades Pro problems. We're going to do a rolling offset. Uh, we have our calculator already here. Uh, we're going to open up the Math CD, Math Layout. We're going to go to Rolling Offset Any Angle. <clears throat> and you can see here we can have a pipe size selector wheel can pick on any pipe size Let, let's do some 10 inch okay I'm gonna clear my calculator put it back to its factory settings out of the box alright now you can see here we could change our angle of fitting we're gonna change our angle of fitting to a 30 So our angle of fitting is a 30. We have a 10 inch pipe size. Our gap in this problem is an eighth of an inch. Our calculator out of the box is set for an eighth of an inch. That's called the default setting. The roll and the rise are all we need. We can control the rise dimension by clicking on the counter. The one to the left is feet, plus or minus. The middle one is inches, and the last but least the one to the right is sixteenths. So let's leave our roll at two foot four and a quarter. Let's change our rise to two foot five and an eighth. Let's subtract two foot five and an eighth. So let's review our problem. We have ten inch pipe, eighth inch gap, at a thirty degree angle of turn, and we're going through a three dimensional box with a roll of two foot four and a quarter and a rise of two foot five and an eighth. So once again, convert, clear. The first thing I would enter in this problem is my pipe size. I would enter 10 inch pipe size. At that point, I would enter the angle of slope. I would tell the calculator 30 degrees angle slope. Then I can enter any one of these First, it does not matter. I'm going to enter the roll at two foot four inch one slash quarter. The calculator accepts that as the offset. Now the next one I enter the rise at two foot five inch one slash eighth. For the calculator to do a rolling offset. If you notice above the travel key, it says roll. To get that activated, I have to press convert travel. Now the calculator did Pythagorean's theorem and multiplied my offset times the square root of two. And you can see the length of my travel piece is six foot nine and an eighth, and it matches my spreadsheet. Now when we press it again, there's my cut piece, six foot seven eighths. The calculator subtracted your 30 degree odd angle fittings, two of them, and also subtracted your eighth inch weld gaps. So you're, you're set. That six foot seven eighths is your cut piece. That's ready to go. When we press travel again, you can see here, there's confirmation, confirmation of your fitting takeoff at four inches over here. We press travel again, there's confirmation of your gap. Press travel again, confirmation of your fitting angle. When we press travel again, if you had to cut that fitting, that would be your inside arc. You could see here in the spreadsheet, every apprentice gets this at 597. Five and a sixteenth. Travel again. There's your, ins your middle arc, seven and seven eighths. And last but not least, that would be your back arc of 10 and 11 sixteenths. That's how you would lay that out, out of a full size 10 inch 90. Press travel again. You could see, there's your advance, five foot 10 and a quarter. Press travel again. There's your offset, or your roll, two foot four and a quarter. And then it's just, it runs through it to verify that you put in the right dimensions, two foot five and an eighth, 
and then there once once again you go at six foot nine and an eighth. So I hope this helped you. There'll be more of this to come, and this is just the beginning. So hopefully you got a lot out of this, and there'll be more coming up soon. Talk to you soon.